In today's gaming news, Alien Isolation launches this fall, Dark Souls 2 on PC may not look as good as we hoped, and the VR future marches forward with or without Facebook. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Force with your day's gaming news. First up today, Alien Isolation launches this fall. This is the upcoming first person survival horror game that takes place just after the events of the original Alien film. Now an initial concern when this game was announced was that it was just going to be a corridor jump scare game with set events and would have very little replayability and for many people probably wouldn't be too interesting. However, we have since learned that it is actually going to be much more dynamic. The Alien itself will be responding to player actions and will not just be jumping out at set intervals. Now whether or not there are still set pieces and cutscenes, I anticipate some sort of semblance of that, but hopefully it's, it's much more than that. I again, instead of just set jump scares and set locations where the alien jumps out so you play through it once and then there's really not much value to be had after the fact. The game will be launching on October 7th of this year, which is actually just a couple days after my birthday. I don't know why, like, what's the point of me saying that? People like to reference things in relation to themselves, so I guess that's what I'm doing there. Uh, next up in news, Dark Souls 2 on the PC will hopefully look better than the console version of the game, but unfortunately it may not look as good as we had hoped. An article on Inc. Gamers points out the fact that Namco Bandai has removed all images that were showing an older version of Dark Souls 2 with high quality textures and lighting. So how, why is this a concern? Well, if you don't remember, uh, last week there was a big uproar in the Dark Souls 2 community because the game did not look nearly as good as the original footage when they were showing off Dark Souls 2 prior to launch. Basically, earlier builds had uh, an awesome looking lighting system, high quality textures. Now, obviously, you know, last gen consoles, we, only, we know that they're limited in their p hardware and their potential power, but when it comes to a PC port, we would hope that the highest available texture settings and, and graphical quality would be available because Obviously, PCs can support that sort of thing as opposed to 10-year-old hardware. But if these, if this is any indication, the fact that Namco Bandai has removed images of those high-quality versions of the game from the Steam page store, does that mean we might not be getting that and that shouldn't be the expectation? I mean, this could be in response to all the blowback that they got from the console version and them saying, all right, before the PC launch, let's make sure no one has any higher standards uh, for that version of the game when looking at the Steam page. I'm honestly a bit concerned because I was really looking forward to seeing that awesome lighting system and, and the great looking game that they originally showed us in that early footage of Dark Souls 2. And before you go off the handle and start screaming, well, graphics don't mean anything, it's not important, I understand gameplay is much more important. I loved the original Dark Souls, even though it looked like utter trash. I mean, there's some nice set pieces and an overall nice aesthetic, but the texture quality itself and the lighting, not phenomenal by any stretch of the imagination. It's not that we're just desperate for more graphics, it's the fact that we had an expectation set by the developer, by the publisher, in the footage that they showed. And to have that expectation not only met on the old hardware, but not met on the potentially best hardware when it comes to the PC platform, that is the letdown. It's the same thing with Aliens Colonial Marines when they showed originally some amazing looking footage, the game comes out, it looks like trash. It's disappointing because an expectation was set. And last up in news today, it looks like virtual and augmented reality will continue to march forward, whether or not Facebook is involved and whether or not the Oculus Rift continues to go on and become a successful thing. Uh, according to a report from TechCrunch, unnamed sources claim that Microsoft has purchased IP rights for a wearable augmented reality headset. Now remember, there's a difference between virtual reality, like the Oculus Rift, and augmented reality. Aug augmented reality is something similar to a Google Glass where you've got a, a lens in front of you and it alters the reality that you actually see by placing images over it. Uh, so that's, that's apparently what Microsoft has purchased the IP rights to. That's interesting. That is interesting. And really? I guess it's not that surprising. We had 3D over the last few years and that was something that people were trying to push with things like the 3DS and 3D televisions and, and 3D compatible games. That was a huge flop. Tech companies will always be looking for the next thing to sell us and it looks like virtual and augmented reality will be that thing. I know there's been that big uproar over Facebook purchasing the Oculus Rift, but honestly that could be the least of our concerns because we will continue to see major companies and corporations invest into this type of tech going forward. And it also it could be great for us because honestly the more competition that there is, we, we already have Sony announcing that they've got a virtual reality headset that's pretty much identical to the Oculus Rift. And 
Right now, Microsoft might be making augmented reality headsets. More competition means lower prices, and that's better for us, the consumer. Unless, of course, they all price match high, and well, then, then, then I guess we'd be really screwed. But anyways, it could mean better news for us as the consumer. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's episode of The Force Feed. Please, as always, let me know what you think about any of the topics discussed here today in the comments section below. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. I mean, you guys should know all about being disappointed from set expectations. You come to this channel named Force Strategy Gaming, and then you watch some of my gameplay footage and realize, this guy kind of sucks at games. It's false advertising. <laughs>